In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get two months free Windows RDP. In this video, we are going to see how you can create Windows RDP using DigitalOcean. So let's get started. First of all, you need to create an RDP, DigitalOcean account with 200 credits. For that, you need to click this button, which says Create DigitalOcean Account. And you can see here banner, which is showing 200 credits if you register with this link. So I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in with my account. When you register, you will see this type of screen dashboard, and you will see here your credits. So let me show you how you can create your Windows server. So first of all, you need to create Ubuntu virtual machine. So in DigitalOcean, let's create, just click on create button and click on droplet. Then click on your region, select your region. Now you need to select Ubuntu latest version for image. Then you need to select a plan. Make sure you have at least four GB RAM and two CPUs. So I'm going to select this one. You can select bigger plan as well because you have 200 credit. Now in password authentication, we are going to select password and type your strong password here. Make sure fulfill all the required fields. Okay, then scroll down. Here you need to see host name. Remove that and type anything, whatever you want. Then click on create droplet button. It will take two to three minutes to create your droplet. So please wait until the droplet created. Okay, so our droplet is successfully created. Now you can see that we have IP address as well. Now we are going to install Windows Server on our Ubuntu virtual machine. Click on your virtual machine. Now click on recovery button. Now turn off your virtual machine. Now click on boot from recovery ISO. Just click one time, then wait. Now it is selected. Now again, turn on your virtual machine. Okay, now click on access button. Then scroll down and click on Launch Recovery Console. Now type six number six and press Enter. Now you need to download Windows ISO file from here. So to do that, you need command. You will see this command here. So I'm going to use Windows 2022 edition. So just copy this command, copy whole command properly. Then go here, access your terminal and paste your command here. Okay, recheck your command, then press enter. Now it will take 15 to 20 minutes to download. So let's meet after downloading.
Okay, so our file is successfully downloaded and you will see this type of screen. Then again, go to recovery. Now turn off your virtual machine again. Now again, click on boot from hard drive. Then wait. Now again, you need to turn on your virtual machine. Let's turn on, okay. Machine started successfully. Now again, click on Access button. Now scroll down. Click on Launch Recovery Console. If all steps are correct, then you will see this type of screen. Just click on the screen and you will ask for password. Enter password and press enter. So now we have our Windows Server installed on our Ubuntu virtual machine on DigitalOcean. So now we need to enable internet connection into our Windows Server. So to do that, we need to configure internet protocol. So for that, we need one command which is NCPA CPOL. So now you need to search here. Click on search bar and search CMDN, press enter. Type here NCPA CPOL and press enter. Now, right-click on Ethernet 0, which is first section, and click on Properties.